Hey everyone, live it like Lisa here. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I've just finished work, so I need to just quickly give the kitchen a bit of a tidy up. It's not too bad. There's just like stuff that needs putting away and just the dishes setting off before we start cooking dinner. I've got a couple of t-shirts that I want to tie dye and maybe do some designs on them so we'll probably do the tie dye today because i'll need it you know overnight to dry obviously uh, and then i might do some designs on them tomorrow so yeah i'll see if we get time to do that but first thing let's just get a quick clean of this kit Yes, that is the van on the back of the trailer being rescued by the Hummer. <laughs> so, as if more things couldn't go wrong, now the van has shit itself. Well, it's not actually shit itself, it's just leaking water, so... Yeah, Mike's got to um, put it up on the car hoist and see what he can see. He's hoping it's just a radiator hose. He said it doesn't look like it's coming from the radiator, so... Just another one of the many things Michael can fix himself, anything to do with cars. We've never ever had to take our car to a mechanic to get fixed. The only time actually we needed to take the car to get fixed was uh, when the Hummer gearbox went because at that time we didn't even have a car hoist. So yeah, that was like a job Michael just didn't have time to do. He probably could have done it if he wanted to, but yeah, it was just we didn't have the hoist at the time. So so yes now it's the van but i mean our hot water is all heating up again so that's all working fine and uh, now it's the van oh our life and we've got more flowers popping up from the puppies garden i still haven't trimmed one of you guys suggested trimming all of the um the dead buds off that still haven't done that yet <sighs> i might have to do that maybe tomorrow um i'm just going to finish cleaning the kitchen and um, yeah, we'll do a bit of tie dyeing, I think. I haven't even got all my Christmas lights on. I'll have to put all them on. Look at that. I've got to wash all that. That's a bloody cat. Disgusting. Oh, my bloody thing as well. Oh, God. <sighs> never ending, people. I'm telling you, the never ending. All right, I'm just going to quickly wipe my benches down and then we'll get to do some tie-dye. So, we got a bit of burnt soup on the stove yesterday from the chicken and dumpling soup. So, I'm just going to put a bit of washing detergent over it, let that break down. And then in a couple of an hour or so, we'll wipe it off with some hot water and it should, should just wipe up really easy. So kitchen looks reasonable again. I just got to put all those dishes away when they dry. Um, all right, let's go and do some tie dye. The weirdest thing to do once I finish work, but I want to get it done. And yeah, what better time than now? For all my 
t-shirts hanging up here that I plan to dye. I've got all my tie-dye kit here. So I'll just see what I need to do and yeah, we'll dye some shirts. Oh my God, guys, okay, scrap that idea. <laughs> I just read the first instruction said, please make sure you pre-wash your t-shirts to take off anything that might prevent the dye getting through. So <laughs> scrap that, I've thrown them in the wash. We will do the tie dye tomorrow. They should be dry. <laughs> wow, how prepared am I? Now what can I do? <laughs> my house is all clean. I've been cleaning my house all throughout the week, so I don't really have any housework to do. Let me just see what was planned for today, because I sort of put little ideas down of what I want to do each day. <sighs> wow, that's thrown a spanner in the works. Oh, though Michael said there was something in the mail for me, so maybe we'll go grab that off him and see if there's any happy mail we can open. I think the only things I've got coming now are um, just some AliExpress stuff, like some little journal supplies. Yeah, like I need any more of those. But we'll go and see. We'll go down and get me out of the house for some fresh air. Look who's coming over thinking I've got carrots. I don't have carrots. I've got no carrots. Do you want a carrot? Do you want a carrot? You can't just expect that every time I come out of the house, I'm going to have a carrot for you. And now you're making my hands all dirty. You're so grubby. Shall I get you a carrot? You're so spoiled. You're actually spoiled. Wait there. Wait there, I'll get you a carrot. Goddamn loss. Oh, this is my life. Feeding the goddamn horse. Ooh, running out of carrots. This is Rolly's draw. <laughs> I'll even store carrots in there. Look at him, he knows. It's come running over again. Where is he? <laughs> you like Mr. Ed, you, aren't you? You're a bloody grommet. Let me get out first. Get out the way. Wait. Wait. Oh, my God, Rolly. Come over here. Oh, God, you're so impatient. He's so impatient. Chew it. Do not swallow it. We don't need vet bills. Chew it. God damn it, Rolly. Bite it and chew it. Oh God, now I'm panicking. You got all flies on your face. Look, one right in the corner. Now finish that one first. Oh, now yeah, it's on the ground. <laughs> Listen to you. Did I get any mail? You did, in the car. Is it anything exciting looking? Is it a big package or little? Two little ones. Oh. Oh, get the flies off him first. He's yeah, right no. in the corner. Just get your mask on first. Bend it. Give me your ear. Here. Maybe while he's eating, he'll... Look, he's just got his cool glasses on. Fucking flies are bloody annoying. Look at his today. glasses. I know. He won't let me get far away enough to see him. Here, break that one for him. So it's... Now get far away and show him your glasses. I've got my slippers on. I shouldn't even be out in my sleep. He looks so funny with that on. But, <laughs> oh, Rolly. But it's really soft. I know. Thank you. See? <laughs> That was the best present ever. Oh my God, I had to come inside. Those flies out there are just mental. Freaking mental for flies in here in summer. 
Oh, now let's see what I got for my happy mail. Set you up there, you're not gonna fall down. Okay, so what did I get? One here, I think this was just from AliExpress because I've I put a little order, well, a little order. I put a few orders in for some more journaling supplies for AliExpress. And normally, well, just lately, when I've put in like, you know, a, a big order of from all different uh, suppliers, they normally, I don't know, they have been packaging all the smaller parcels, even though they're from different people, all into one big massive parcel and then sending that one parcel so yeah I um I thought it was going to come like that this time but it hasn't the first bit of happy mail I got was from AliExpress and it's a pack of 20 ink pads I think this was only a couple of dollars I'm just going to open it and see if there's 10 other different colors underneath or whether you're getting two of each color so let me just check i think this whole set was maybe six dollars or something like that oh no it looks like there's all different colors so that's not a bad price i don't know what the quality is like probably can't expect much for six dollars but i thought that was pretty good yeah i really like what i was re what i really like are these darker more vintage looking colors so pretty happy with that yeah hopefully the rest of my stuff will come before christmas so it'll be like a little happy christmas to me oh when am i going up there i'm going up to my dad's in a few days again we've got an appointment uh with him so i'll be taking him to that appointment and then i think the next day so i'm going to go up early give his house a clean make him some dinners for the week uh, and then we've got an appointment to go to. So I'll film when I'm up there and then you can see my dad again. Because I, I haven't been filming him the last few times I've I've gone there. I've just completely forgot, if I'm honest. Like, I've just left the, the camera in the car and just forgot to vlog. Um, so I'll remember to vlog when I go up there again. But then two days later, I'm going back to port because I've got my hair appointment to get my hair dyed. I'm going to get it dyed, like, black, purple, like, pretty much black but then you know with a bit of purple uh, through it as well and I want to while I'm there maybe get a few other beauty appointments done like I want to get my nails done like my nails have been growing I hope they're not so gross well they're not great but at least they're clean but my nails have been growing so much since I've been taking that collagen from the Collagen Co like normally my nails would have snapped off by now they just do not grow like that like and, and they're really strong too and you know i've got no nail polish on them no nothing to protect them and yeah they're still growing so um, and even my hair i feel like is getting thicker like i've i've noticed in the vlogs my bald patch is not so prominent even when i've got regrowth happening through like it to me it doesn't look as if it's so patchy i've just put an order in with the collagen co for two more of those um immunity boost peptide sachets because yeah i'm going to continue to take that i think it's it's definitely doing my nails good and i think it's actually doing my hair good too because my hair is really starting to grow now as well it's hard to say see because it always springs up but yeah it's actually getting quite long oh well, i can't remember what i was saying but on that day when I'm getting my hair done, I'm going to get a few other beauty treatments. I was going to get my eyebrows waxed and dyed, but I think I'm going to do that myself just with my piercing. I don't want any cross contact because it takes about two to three months for your piercings to heal and you shouldn't touch them and you shouldn't really put anything near them that can get into the um, hole or anything like that. So I'll do my own eyebrows um like i'll just pluck them for, for now because they're a bit say a bit unruly I, I don't really want to pluck this part but just mainly all that part just to get it a little bit <laughs> a bit a little bit tame and because i've got lots of gray in my eyebrows as well so i want to just dye those myself i've got a little eyebrow dye, dye kit and i'll just probably dye this one just up to there you know and just leave the rest so it doesn't get interfered with so yeah, I want to get my eyebrows done, 
I'll do that myself. But I want to get my eyelashes. Is it an eyelash lift and tint? So I want to get that done again. I want to get my nails done because I want to just get, look a little bit fancier. Like even while I'm working on the rest of my body <laughs> to look good, I want all the little things that I can look good to look good. You know what I mean? So toes are easy, like feet and hands are easy to make look good. I mean, yeah, okay, they're still going to be fat little sausage finger <laughs> fingers, but at least my nails will look pretty. You know what I mean? So I just want to fix myself up a bit for Christmas and yeah I'm gonna have a little bit of a beauty day in port I'll put another happy mail here I want to open uh, doesn't say who's this one from but let me open it oh no oh that's so cute who sent this oh thank you Trish so oh, that is awesome Trish has sent me a little card with my puppies on there and their Christmas hats. That is so cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to put that on the puppies table. We've got a little table set up for, for the puppies as a little memorial. memorial. Uh, I've still got to, I want to get like a little photo in a frame of them, but this one will be perfect to put on there now at Christmas. Is it showing up? There we go. That is so cool. And then inside she's put, Merry Christmas to Lisa and family. I hope you have a happy and safe Christmas and New Year. Love from Trish and family. Oh, thank you so much, Trish. I love it. I love it. Oh God, I miss them so much. Poor little guys. Look at Bandy's face. He's such a rat bag. Oh. Thank you, that is awesome. Thank you so much. There we go, have a look at that. <laughs> Puppy's little tribute stand. Oh, that's so cute. I wanna get, yeah, I wanna get like a frame, like for once Christmas is all over with, I'm gonna get like a proper framed picture and put it there for the puppies as well. Yeah, I love it. So what I thought I might do today, before everyone comes inside and starts making some noise, I thought I would go through my favorite YouTube channels, like the YouTube channels that I go to and pretty much watch every single video that they bring out. There's probably one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 channels that I watch religiously like never miss a, um, a video or at least try not to miss a video. I don't always watch them as, as soon as they come out because I don't have a lot of time during the week, but usually on a Saturday morning, Sunday morning, I will spend a couple of hours in bed <laughs> catching up on a lot of YouTube videos. And I don't always comment on every on everyone as well, but yeah, I, I am watching them. Uh, so yeah, I thought today I would share with you my top go to YouTube channels that I love watching and yeah I definitely want you guys to share some of your favorite YouTube channels down in the comments below so because I don't have a lot of stuff to show you today I was planning on doing the whole tie-dye my washing machine has just beeped at me now to say that that wash load is finished so I'm gonna hang that up to dry as soon as I finish this vlog um, and we'll do some tie-dye tomorrow. But what I thought I would share with you guys today are some of my absolute favorite YouTube channels. The, the ones that I watch, I mean, I'm subscribed to quite a few for different reasons, but the ones I'm gonna show you today are the ones that I pretty much watch religiously. Like I pretty much watch every video that they bring out or at least, you know, try to anyway. So I'll flip you around so you can get an overall view of what the channel looks like. If you're interested, it might be a channel that you may be interested in. So if you sort of see a visual, it might help you find it better. Now I'm going to show you them in alphabetical order. I've just pulled them off my subscriptions list and I'll do it in alphabetical order just so that there's no you know, like I'm not doing it in favorite order or anything like that. So yeah, and it just so happens that three out of the four main ones that I watch and are actually friends with 
um, they're all starting with the letter C, like all their channels start with C, so there'll be one after the other. But yeah, just know this is not in order of preference, it's just alphabetical order, so I don't wanna play favorites, but yeah, all of these channels I watch all the time. So let me just flip you around. First channel I watch all the time, Shell's Glam Home. Now Shell is another fellow Aussie YouTuber. She's currently on a little bit of a break from YouTube, but she has heaps and heaps of videos. If you love home decor and um, decor hauls and uh, home DIYs and things like that, then Shell's channel is for you. She's very much into like the glam, farmhouse. She's got a knack of combining all different styles of decor and just making it work. It always amazes me how she does it. So yeah, very much into like sort of the glam decor, it's Hampton style, farmhouse style and all of that. So yeah, check out Shell's Glam Home. Next we have Claire's Crafty Corner, my mate Claire in the UK. Claire is uh, very much a craft channel and does a lot of resin tutorials, wood turning. Now I'm not into resin at all, but I just absolutely am mesmerized watching her do it. I, I just love it. I love watching the whole process and, and yeah, she's got hundreds of videos on there to watch and yeah, absolutely love Claire. She's so down to earth. She's a lot of fun and yeah, definitely check her out. Next we have Crafty by Tony, another UK friend. She does a lot of the journaling and paper style crafts. Uh, I just love her work like this is all the stuff I want to actually start doing next year so yeah a lot of paper crafts journaling uh, using a lot of um, Tim Holt stuff and Prima marketing stuff uh, yeah just absolutely love her channel and I learned so much from her channel so yeah she's really really great as well love crafty by Tony next I watch Emma Chamberlain uh, she's an American YouTuber. Uh, I very much love her style of vlogging, uh, her editing and things like that. She's super funny. She doesn't post a lot, actually. Maybe only, oh, look, in the last five months, it's only been one video a month. Uh, but she does have a lot of pre prior videos on her channel. And yeah, I've just enjoyed, I, I really enjoy her editing, the way she edits her videos. I think they're really, she makes them really, and even when she's talking about the, mon the most mundane thing, she makes it really like interesting and funny to, to watch and to listen to just by the way she edits it. So yeah, Emma Chamberlain, love her. Next is Marina over at Fearfully Created. She is uh, an American YouTuber. I absolutely love her. She is so down to earth. She's a lot of fun. And she does a lot of like home decor, home updates. Uh, she lives in a mobile home in Tennessee, I believe. She does a lot of like home decor things, cleaning motivation, uh, DIY, shop with me. Uh, she's, yeah, she's really, really great. I love her. So that's fearfully created. Next we have is a uh, jazz hand. She's actually another Australian YouTuber and she brings out a video once a week, like a weekly vlog, basically just highlighting all the stuff she got up to uh, that week. Um, she's got her own jewelry business. So she shows snippets of that. She gets a lot of PR packages. So she'll show her opening PR packages, any like YouTube or social media events she attends, um, beauty treatments that she gets done, going to fitness classes and things like that. So yeah, I just find that I just feel like she has a really interesting life. So I just, I really enjoy watching her. Uh, next we have um, Ki, oh gosh, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Is it Kiara? Kiara. I've actually only just discovered her just recently in the last couple of months. And um, yeah, I've just really been drawn to her channel. She's got a lovely little family. I think she's got three kids, another fellow Aussie, like I said. And yeah, I just enjoy watching her. They're really, they seem like they're a really lovely family. So yeah, next week, God, it seems like they're all Aussies. I didn't realize I watched so many Aussie channels, to be honest. I thought most of them would have been American. 
<laughs> I'm surprised actually. So next we have Michael Finch. I've watched Michael for oh God for years. Even back oh, when he used to do full makeup and all of that. That's when I started watching him. And um, yeah, he he's a bit mad. He's crazy. <laughs> like, but uh, I like his sense of humor. He's a bit like sarcastic, t tongue in cheek. And again, he doesn't like post regularly regularly but when he does it's always like a bit of fun and a good laugh at what he does so oh gosh another aussie girl rachel leah uh she's actually an aussie living in canada at the moment and her channel again is like um just a lifestyle channel basically she does cleaning motivation um morning routines sunday routines uh, cleaning her apartment, getting herself organized, like a day in the life. So I really like her. Next, we have Mel from Sorted Home. Uh, it used to be For the Love of Sorted, but yeah, I just noticed now it's actually Sorted Home. Absolutely love Mel. She is so down to earth. She is as real as you're going to get. No fakeness about Mel at all. Um, I've watched Mel for ages now, years and years. I think probably since I've started doing like my own channel, I've been watching Mel. Mel does a lot of like um, cleaning, like home cleaning and organizing. She's currently doing Vlogmas. So if you're interested in Mel, yeah, definitely check her out because yeah, she's doing Vlogmas. I'm a little bit behind. I think I've still got to, I think I've got to finish watching this one and still watch this one as of filming this so I'm a little bit behind at the moment but yeah absolutely love Mel she's another fellow Aussie and yeah you couldn't get a more down-to-earth person her videos she keeps it real doesn't show like an Instagram house she's just this is real life and yeah I absolutely love that about her so Mel does a lot of cleaning motivation uh, getting your life organized day in the lives um, real life messy house cleans I love those it's so satisfying watching her do those from you know what it started with to when it's all clean I yeah I find something really satisfying about watching them and also like you know um, how to deal with depression and anxiety and things like that how she copes and, and gives you tips on how to help you if you're going through something similar grocery hauls so yeah absolutely love mel check her out next we have the dad challenge podcast i love this guy he is hilarious <laughs> um he actually is all about bringing an end to child exploitation on youtube please so all the families that use their kids to get views um, he's trying to bring awareness to that and how dangerous it is and but he also does a lot of snark videos as well so he'll basically just watch one of these family vlogger channels and just pick apart the videos and they're my favorite to be honest I mean I know I'm probably going to go to hell for, for laughing that and it's probably one of my guilty pleasures because I would never be like that to someone's face like I would never actually <laughs> do like say what he says to anyone's face but my god I do laugh when he actually says it out loud uh, so yeah I absolutely love him the one where he's like snarking on the videos oh god they they make me laugh so much especially this this channel here uh this this family here the Do doherty dozen Do doggerty dozen or however you say it oh my god he does so many videos um basically ripping this girl apart and i know it's not nice and i know you know you shouldn't do it but freaking hell it's funny i just can't help it so i love him <laughs> Um, I know I'm probably going to hell for that, but anyway. Next, I, now this family, I love them. Like they're just such a bloody beautiful looking family. Like all of them, like the guy, the girl and their kids, they're all just like blessed with all the right genes. The East family. So I've only just discovered these, this channel in the last couple of weeks as well. And I've just, I've subscribed to them, but I haven't managed to watch many videos yet. I think I've only maybe watched one or two. I think once I've got a bit more time on my hands after Vlogmas, I will get into their channel and start watching them as well. Cause yeah, they look like a really nice family. And then last, but definitely not least, and she's also one of my favorites, is Kim from The Wads. Uh, she's an American YouTuber. She does a lot of like 
um, cook with me's, clean with me's, um, day in the life, shop with me, Costco hauls, uh, yeah, decorating her house, things like that. Oh, she's just funny. She's so full of energy. She's like, like she's on crack <laughs> all day long, but she's great. So yeah, I really love her. And that's pretty much it. Like, so they're my main go-to channels that I absolutely love. Please, please leave some of your favorite YouTubers in the comments below. I don't care how many you've got. Like if you've got a list of 10, leave me 10 because I need some new channels to watch. So I think I'm gonna finish the vlog off here just so I can have a bit of an early night tonight. And I will see you guys in my next, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.